Hi, uh, let's go over using a custom Trello board to communicate during the web design process. Uh, once you sign up, you're going to get an invite from me to join the team. And you'll see your little picture up here eventually. Um, but once you log in, uh, create a free account, log in. Uh, it'll look similar to this, um, but the background and, and the theme is going to match your particular style, and the cards will match uh, whatever's appropriate for, for our project. But it'll look similar to this, probably a little bit smaller to start. Um, so what you're going to want to do is come over here to the first row, uh, the back end phase, and just uh, double click on the card to open it up. And this is what an open card looks like. So you see the title, uh, all the members and labels. Um, so we'll have team members in here. Your name will be listed here. My name will be on here. Um, then the labels, this will be a way for you to look at the, like, quickly glance at the board and see what, what um, you need to work on, what I need to work on, and uh, what's coming up. Um, so green labels means I'm working on it. Yellow means I'm waiting for your feedback. Um, and any of these other labels apply, um, as, as you can see. Um, and you can add a checklist, um, any particular due dates in here. Um, so you can set a week away and uh, give me some time to work on it or if it's something that you need to you know, get for me. Um, we can set a due date for you too if you, if you need to stay on schedule. Um, so in this card here, uh, so I'll put information under the description. Um, and what this particular card will cover. And then under here is the comment section of this where we'll, we'll discuss back and forth um, changes, edits, you know, and any kind of information you need to give me, whether it's copy or um, just leave a comment in here depending on what card it is. And, uh, and over here there's an attachment button and um, you'll get to using this as well. So click on attachment and upload photos um, documents, PDFs, uh, anything you, you might want to might want to up, you know upload for me, and it links up to all these different services. Um, and if you have a link online, you can play it, paste the hyperlink here um, and click attach, uh, and it will attach your file similar to this right here. Um, so we'll all be able to see it and also comment. So once you're looking at the card here. Um, Essentially, you're just going to be using attachments and comments um, to comment back and forth. And so we'll be using this instead of emails um, to keep all our information in one place. So if I need a password, I can come here. And, or if I need you know, information on what, what text is going on, what page, I, I can come here and not have to search through emails and all that stuff. Um, and, but you can turn it on so you receive an email um, every time there's an update to your card uh, or if you're tagged in a, in a comment. For instance, I can start typing um, a name in here and it'll come up, you know, your name will come up underneath here so I can just tag you. Uh, or if you leave a comment and I hit the reply button, there'll be a reply button here eventually. Um, you'll automatically get tagged and get emails. Um, so you can customize your notification settings within, tre within Trello, depending on um, what you want to do. And mainly right here by clicking the watch, um, the watch. But, but you can also do it globally using the menu um, on the right hand side. So, and then in here we can add team members, you know, your name, your, my name will be listed there. Um, and if you want to add anybody else to the project to help out, you can add them to the team and uh, any particular cards that might, might need help on. So, um, close out of this one. And so each card is based up into um, phases and then each phase has a, a selection of tasks and, and things that we need to get done in each particular phase. So um, the back end phase, this is like our getting started phase. Um, we're configuring everything from project credentials, where I can do the WordPress stuff, your hosting, your domain stuff, Google, uh, any theme, themes you might have purchased. Don't, please don't, but we'll, we'll discuss that. Um, Membership details, you know, um, payment gateways, you know, stuff like this. Where we, if you need to sign up for PayPal or use, you know, Stripe, you can add in account stuff here, um, communication here, and any other pl plugins that you might want to use, like mailers or Eventbrite, um, stuff from restaurants, ticketing, 
reservations, newsletters, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you can talk about that in here. And then I have two little, a client task and a Danny task. So these are ones for me, ones for you, um, just to keep random notes if you want uh, for the project. Um, and then once all these are pretty much ready to go, uh, I'll be working on the site in the back end. And then this is where we'll discuss um, your site design inspiration. Give you a couple of sites to, to click on um, and check out. And you can add in here, just click and leave your notes, you know, what sites you like the look and feel of, you know, um, what, what you're looking for, if you have you know, any screenshots of sites you like or any links, you just add the link in. But, you know, a couple of sites of, you know, what you like, what you might not like. <laughs> That stuff's good to point out too for me to stay away from. Um, and then here's uh, logo consultation and branding. We can discuss your branding and, and logo here. Um, photography, uh, any of your competitors, local competitors, nation, nationwide competitors um, for you know SEO and keyword targeting. And, and it's good for me to give a, a look at what you know you're um, you're up against and. And what they're doing, um, just so that we don't miss something, or you know, we can we can take it a step, obviously a step or two beyond what they're doing. Um, uh, the theme. This is where we talk about the theme. Uh, any search engine op optimization stuff that I, I need for new keywords, descriptions, um, and then during in this section, this is where we can check out the, the site map and navigation and page structure. So we, we start getting into you know, the, the nitty gritty of the website and, and the bones. Um, and so we just discussed that in here. Uh, content for the home page and landing page. So in here, I have a lot of stuff I've collected along my way. So I, I, I basically want to set you up to um, be able to describe to me <laughs> how you want your site to look um, and, and how, how to get it, you know, attain that quickly um, and, and most efficiently. Um, uh, without a lot of back and forth, um, and just to keep everybody on the same page as well. So during my travels, I've um, found a list of you know free professional sock images that that are really good. I I myself have a, de a developer license for all the um, stuff on Envato Elements links in here, um, and I'll to start pull a lot of stock photos from there. It'll be free to look at if you want to go that route. Um, and, and they're fantastic collections and I have a license to use all of them. Uh, so it's, it's a good place to start before you go, um, paying for, you know, on the iStock or Adobe stock. Um, that's also an option, but, um, so in here, there's a lot of information from me to set you up. And then once you're, you know what you want, um, you know, sections on the page, uh, you want a button on the home page, a big slider on the home page. You want to feature your blogs up top. Uh, anything like that, you know, um, we can add in comments here and, and get to start on each individual page. So now each page will be on their own card. Um, and again, uh, these labels you'll see, I'll add them to in progress if I'm working on it and you guys, and you can, you know, pay no mind to it at this time. Um, or if it's yellow, it's, I need something from you. Um, and so these are dummy pages right now, page A. So you won't your about page. Again, it's just copied from this one. So um, essentially, once you get the home page done, we can we can drill down the other pages fairly easily, um, and we'll get in a good rhythm. So that basically sets up any extra pages, and then we can talk about a blog if you want a blog, um, an online store. Um, you talk about your products, and then of course your privacy policy, terms of service. That's important these days. Um, considering the new laws and stuff overseas. Uh, and then usually when I have about half the site done, maybe like three or four pages, depending on depending, sometimes even just a landing page, um, we'll start viewing the work in progress and this card will start turning on. Um, and this is where you'll see it on my testing server. And I'll also be using Envision um, to upload screenshots of each page. So you'll be able to see it live and then you'll be able to go over to Envision. There'll be a link right here. I'll add the prototype right here. You'll see a link and it'll look just like the page and just click on it. And then it, you literally click and leave your comment where you want to um, 
the changes to be made uh, for me, whether it's text or you want to, you know, an image moved or something bumped up or down or removed, whatever. Um, we'll do all design communication at this stage over in Envision because it's easy to see where it's at and, and all that. Um, and Envision is extremely easy to use. It just doesn't make sense to do it over here on Trello when we have Envision already set up and you can click and say right here on this menu in this exact location has changed X, Y, Z. So, um, but you'll be able to see it live and, uh, and on the testing server and, and in Envision. Um, you can start giving me feedback over there. And then when your site's done, we'll do a second round of feedback, do a feedback on your plugins, and then a final, a final round. So we usually do three rounds of feedback, um, typically. Um, usually we can get it ironed out in two uh, with some, most pages, um, but three rounds is usually the max for, for revisions. Um, and then once the site's uh, ready to go, you set it up for maintenance and, and get it all set up for the live server and um, set you up with a maintenance package, whether you're going with the, with the baseline one or, or um, something extra for e-commerce or any kind of um, you know, extra software that's developed or that, that's uh, installed on top, directory software, you know, learning software, stuff like that. Um, so we'll need to sign up for a maintenance package to keep you know your WordPress uh, website running and, um, and 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 safe and secure and backed up especially. Um, and then we have launch day, and um, that's when everything else is signed off on and we're ready to go live. Um, and after we go live, um, that's when the deposits do or the the, the remainder balance is due when we go live. Um, and then I'll, I'll supply you with some project documentation, whether it's this, you know, a video on how to add a blog post or um, if you're going to be updating your pages yourself, um, I can do a video you know, on how to, how to do that from the back end. Um, it all depends on what your specific needs are. And then any software that's installed on top of it, like WooCommerce, a store or something like that, um, they'll have their own individual uh, instructions but if you need something custom done it's it's not a problem at all um and then i'll add in a couple of helpful links and resources to you know online wiki articles and stuff like that to get you going and um and this is where to get help from me and that pretty much wraps it up and you can add you know new cards at any time um and trello's is awesome so it's it's all my clients that, that I've used it with and, you know, in, the, in the last year and a half have really loved it. So, um, yeah, so that's Trello and uh, I look forward to work, working with you on it.